Back here on the Steam Room, it's one of the most popular segments. I don't know, Chuckster, you think if you had to rank the four segments we normally do. This number four. TK would be number four. Four is the low, lowest number. He's number four. Each, good to see you guys again. If you're not a loyal steamer and you just stumbled onto this, this is Tim Kiley, producer of Inside the NBA, Pittsburgh guy, is always adorned in some kind of stealer or pirate uh, regalia. And uh, so go ahead. Ernie, I have some social media news. Uh-oh. The Chuckster has expressed already on this show and on many other times, they're all damn idiots. Not everybody. A lot of them are. But after episode six of The Last Dance, Twitter was a Charles Barkley love fest. Did you see some of these tweets? I did not. I don't do tweets. How would I know that? Taylor Rooks. People forgot how good the Chuckster was. Chuck was a dog. Uh, but, oh, Taylor Rooks. I love Taylor. Thanks, Taylor. Jared Vanderbilt, who plays for the T-Wolves. Yeah. Oh, don't, uh, don't, don't think people realize how good you were, Chuck. You oh, just happened to be you, in the Jared Jordan era. Vanderbilt? Oh, yeah. Jared Vanderbilt. And, and, of course, the one and only Ahmad Rashad. One of the best that ever oh, played. He was you, no man. joke. It's uh, true. Thank you, brother. I Chuck, there that. are many, many more. 56,000 times you were mentioned on, on Twitter. Well, you know, it's been really uh, interesting living the good old days. That was a great time in my life. You know what's amazing, TK? Man, I miss sports so bad. <laughs> this last dance thing is all we get to talk about every day right now, which is interesting and crazy at the same time. But man, uh, I, I want everybody to be safe. But man, we really miss sports, man. And I hope the players realize it now. I hope the players said, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to be the best basketball, baseball, football player I can be because there's somebody who watched me that I put a smile on their face. I make them forget about some bad stuff that they're happening in their life. And I think this could be a wake-up call for everybody. Like, number one, earn a shirt, be a better human. Like I say, I, I hope this is a wake-up call for all the players and, like, Yo, man, people count on us for entertainment and excellence. Let's do it. Chuck, I have a question. Yes, sir. Watching those old highlights, how much do you miss the playing days? Well, let me say this. That's a tough question for me. But, you know, it's, it's something that I talk to Shaquille about because uh, I worry about Shaquille. Uh, I love Shaquille. He's fun to be around. He's fun to work with. And, you know, he works all the time. Sometimes I tell him, I says, you do know there's nothing better in your life going to be better than being Shaquille O'Neal, right? A lot of guys, like, TK, I'm not bragging or saying I'm important, but, like, man, I feel pretty good that I was Charles Barkley in my day. And I'm not going to be chasing, like, that high again. So to answer your question, like, it was nothing like being Charles Barkley. I'm never gonna, like, I might accomplish some other stuff. I might, but ain't nothing like that thing. Like Michael Jordan, Carl Malone, we might do some things later in life. But like when you are, like right now, LeBron James, uh, I was talking to a friend of his about, he said like LeBron's gonna do some great things. Uh, it was reported from Cleveland. I says, he might do some great stuff off the court, whatever, but ain't nothing going to ever be better when he was LeBron James at the peak of his superpowers. And ain't nothing was better than when I was Charles Barkley. Like, it's great being Charles Barkley on TNT, but it ain't nothing like being Charles Barkley <laughs> at, hey, at, the Philadelphia, hey, at the Philadelphia Spectrum or at America West Arena, and every basketball person is watching you play. Nothing can do that. So, Sunday night was shaping up to be a great night for the Chuckster, earning a newfound respect from younger people who maybe just know him as the funny guy on TV. But then he goes on SVP, and one word seemed to trip you up, Chuckster. Roll the clip. Clearly, it was Michael's team uh, because he was the best player in the world. Uh, he was the most, char 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 I don't know, I can't even pronounce it actually, charismatic person in the world. 
<laughs> what do you, I, 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 I love, oh, I love okay. the look of resignation after the fourth try, and you just kind of look, look to the heavens like, I don't even know why I'm trying to say this. Did you see what Elon Musk named his child? I heard, uh, is, is that for real? That is for real. I don't even know, begin to how to pronounce it. X stands for unknown variable. The AE is the elven, elvish spelling of AI, artificial intelligence, and A12 is Musk's favorite plane. Uh, this is a perfect example of trying too hard and, <laughs> and having too much money. This is actually, if, if you like, sometimes you, hear, you see guys dressed in a certain way and we always say, oh, he's trying too hard. This is a perfect <laughs> example of some dude who's really rich and well known trying way too hard. That's exactly what that is. And I'm and I'm seeing a story uh, online that says uh, in California they will not accept that as a legal name because you can only use the 26 characters of the English language. Well, they should. They you know what they should say also. We're just not going to let you name your kid a stupid ass name. A, <laughs> that, that's what they should put on. <laughs> that's I'm exactly, with you. That's exactly what they We're not going to let you have your kid walking around with those stupid ass names his whole life. Well, Ernie, I know you got things to do. Chuck doesn't, but you do. See you, fellas. All right, guys. Thank you, TK. Uh, happy belated, belated happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes. Chuckster, that's scary when you and I are thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time. <laughs> Wow. We'll take a break here on the, uh, on the, well, it hasn't really won any awards. Uh, we'll take a they, break here. You don't on, know that. On the Steam Room podcast. How the hell, if you don't tell them that, they don't know that. Well, it might win something. You never know. Uh, when we come back, Chuck's answering machine. Stay tuned.